Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing five must-have applications for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone, and that could be any Samsung Galaxy smartphone. And of course, all these applications are 100% free. So let's dive in and get started. Let's start with app number one. Now to download these applications, all you want to do is click the link down below that's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, they're all listed on the website, app number one, app number two, so on and so forth. So let's start with app number one, the voice recorder application. So you click the link, it takes you to the store, and then from the store, you can install the application. So let's look at what this application does. It's fantastic. So when I click on open, I'm gonna give it all the required permissions. Allow, allow, okay, so here we have it. So we have a little voice recorder. So the first thing it can do is it can do standard recording, interview recording and speech to text recording so let me show you the standard one i tap on record blah 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 and it starts to record gives you a nice little interface when you're done you tap on stop and it's going to save the recording to the category uh, that you desire you can also add additional categories if you so desire let's just do none for now and tap on save so that voice recording has been saved. Now the other one is the interview, which I really like because you can have somebody on this side of the phone and somebody on this side of the phone and it's gonna record it as an interview. So when the person on this side talks, this microphone on the top is gonna to pick up their voice and when the person on this side, maybe the person that's asking the question talks, it's going to use the microphone on this side. So if I tap on record, look at this. Check, 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 check. You can see that it's using this microphone at the bottom to pick up my voice, but on this side, nothing is being recorded. So when I tap here, for example, let's do a little harder here. You can see it actually uses that microphone to record the person on the other side. So that is great. Okay, you can save this as well. And finally, my favorite, speech to text. Look at this one. If you tap on record, it, let's tap agree. So it's basically gonna convert everything that is recording into text and it's gonna be highly accurate as you can see with some minimum problems here and there, but mostly it is highly accurate. Look at that, it's beautiful. Uh, you can dictate and it's simply going to convert all that into text and you can save the voice recording and the text and then copy and paste the text uh, wherever that you please. So it's basically gonna pause this as you can see, okay? It also highlights the text as you are talking. This is simply incredible, okay? So that's voice recorder, 100% free, made by Samsung, go grab it. Now let's look at application number two. This one is an advanced application. So it is known as the quick measure application. Let's just click on the link. It's gonna take me to the store and it is going to allow you to actually measure items in three-dimensional space in the real world. Let me show you how it works so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me just click on open. All right, so here we have the measure application. I'm pointing this at a space. First, you calibrate this, just pointing it around, okay? And once it's calibrated, you can start to measure by clicking the plus. So I'm gonna click plus right now, and look at that. It's actually measuring it in real life. Then you do plus again, and it just, uh, it also creates additional measurements for you guys to review, okay? And if you want, you can simply erase all the measurements or start a new one, but this is just incredible. So I just erased everything, so I'm gonna do one more from here to here, and that's gonna be approximately 12 inches. That's how wide that laptop is, but that's it. That's a quick measure application. Take measurements in the real world. So that is a fantastic little application. Let's go to application number three. So scroll down on the website, and that's app number three. That's the one-handed operation plus. So let me launch it real quick. Now, when I, once I launch this guy, I'm gonna show you first of all real quick what it does. So I can program the edge of the screen to react to my swipes. So if I swipe upwards, it launches an application, okay? If I swipe inwards, it locks the screen. All right, let me just go back in here. Uh, if I swipe downwards, 
it can launch another application right now. Uh, I have it set up so it brings up all my recent applications. All right, so let's go to the application. Once you download, launch the application, turn it on. And in my case, I'm working with the left handle. So it's this blue area, as you can see. If I turn this off, it disappears. The right handle can be programmed as well. That's the little blue area right there. So let's uh, stick to this one right here. Let's turn this off just as an example. So go to the left handle and basically just pick it from here. So swipe straight right, tap, it's going to be screen off. Uh, diagonal up, it's going to be start an application. I click on this and pick any application that I want from here. And then diagonal down brings up the task switcher or I can go to start application and just pick any other application as you can see. Now when I'm outside, again, swipe up, home application, swipe down, the calculator, and of course, swipe inwards, locks the screen, all right? So that's absolutely fantastic application. Now let's move on and talk about application number four. So again, go to the website, scroll down a little bit, that's app number four, that's the calculator panel. So when you click the link, it's gonna ask you to install it. Once you install this, it's going to add a calculator panel into your edge screen, into your edge panels. So I got my edge panels at the bottom here hiding, okay? So if I pull it down, it's gonna bring up that calculator panel that I can use, as you can see, real quick to make some calculations. Now when I go back, maybe I'm doing something here, maybe I'm on a website looking at some numbers, I can bring this in any time to add another number perhaps, okay? and just do calculations as I please. We even have a little history panel on the here and you can clear the history. Now this is part of the edge panels. So normally to activate this, you go to your settings, go to your display, scroll down over to the edge panels. Once you're in the edge panels, make sure this is enabled and go into the panels, all right? And just make sure the calculator panel that we just downloaded is in fact enabled as you can see. Now that's the only thing I have. So when I pull my uh, panels in, it brings up that calculator for a quick use, all right? Fantastic little tactic. Let's move on and talk about the last application. That's gonna be application number five, known as Lockstar, and it's coming via GoodLock. Let me show you what it does real quick. So basically, if I lock the screen, oops, let's uh, go over here, lock the screen. Okay, so if you look at the bottom here, I'm gonna see a little uh, icon when I click it, it expands to give me a bunch of options. So I have the flashlight, uh, I can access the gallery, the Play Store, YouTube, all this is customizable. Now, for example, again, if I tap over here, and if I tap on Play Store, it's gonna ask me to unlock, and the moment it unlocks, it launches that store, okay? All right, so go to the website and click on the link, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna allow you to download GoodLock. When you download GoodLock and install that, what you wanna do is you wanna activate and install Lockstar. When you click it for the first time, it's gonna allow you to do that. So when you click this, all right, once you are there, make sure this is enabled, and then you tap on Edit Portrait Lock Screen, and at the bottom, you wanna go over to the items, okay? Once you're at the items, this is what we're talking about, the shortcuts, all right? So you can toggle between different options, vertical, uh, turn it off, just the basic, or you can tap it again and you can get the list view. Now once you see the list view, all you do is click here, right here, and then pick the applications you want, okay? So they're gonna show up at the top here, so I can pick flashlight, do not disturb, even options, gallery, Chrome, settings, then I click apply, and now they're gonna show up at the bottom. If I turn off the screen, all right, it's gonna be on this side, and you can see them all available right here. So that is absolutely fantastic application. There's more you can do with this application, of course, uh, but that's all we are gonna do. By the way, once you make the modifications, make sure you click save, okay? And that's gonna save the changes, the additions you made at the bottom. All right, so that was the last application I wanted to talk about. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?